Hello guys and welcome back. In today's video we're going to be fitting our brand spanking new M-Spec carbs. So if you like shiny things, today is very, very, very much the video for you. It's going to be a good one. Let's go and take a look. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Let's have a little look what the M-Spec carb setup consists of. See, I told you if you like shiny things, this is the episode for you. We have a brand new, rebuilt by Berlin, set of H6 M-Spec carbs. And we've obviously got the matching M-Spec inlet manifolds. M-Spec heat shield. I've been told that this may need a little bit of modification, so pretty standard unfortunately but we'll look forward to that obviously we've got our original balance tube as well with a new gasket and a new o-ring and we've got our m-spec h6 carb spacers and a set of gaskets now we need quite a few gaskets i believe there's six of them because what we're going to end up doing is putting a gasket on then a spacer then a gasket then the heat shield, then the gasket, then the carp, I believe. Now, first things first, we've also got a set of longer studs because the inlet manifolds came with studs which are gonna be too short. So the first thing we're gonna do is wind out our studs and then put in our longer studs and then we can look to maybe get it on the car and make it all look very pretty. Standard procedure as we've done before on the exhaust manifold. Take one nut, put it on top of the other, lock one nut off, tighten the other nut against it, wind, oh, they've put those in with something haven't they, cheers guys. Right these were meant to be going back for a refund unharmed and untouched but there's not quite enough thread on there to get two nuts, so yeah, I'll have to suffer the cost. Never mind, they're not going to go back untouched now, are they? Removed, in the bin. Right, that's them out. Let's quickly put the new ones back in. Wind them in. Are they the same thread? They don't feel like it. Well, I'll be... They're not. So that means these aren't going to fit. Fantastic. As with everything in the Austin Healy world, nothing fits. Back to the drawing board. Right, update time. We've got some longer studs, eventually. They've been wound into the inlet manifold, so we can now fit them to the car. Other thing to think about is our little spill tubes. We've got these little brass adapters into our inlet manifolds. And then you've got little copper spill tubes that run down the back of the block. Now we need to run a vacuum source off for our servo. So what we've done is we've had the inlet manifold tapped to accept a quarter BSP to 10 mil compression fitting. And then we're gonna run a hard line, 10 mil copper, bend it round past the manifold up and then into the um, vacuum line for our server that we ran in our previous video. So now it's time to fit them to the car balance tube and then the carbs the exciting part that is the inlet manifolds on there just finger tight very loose now obviously we've got a little bit of side to side movement so I'm just going to pop the heat shield on because that's got a potential to not line up so if I pop the heat shield on then I can move the inlet manifolds and the heat shield all as one 
and then just reach in and just nip the nuts up, remove the heat shield, then have a play around with the balance pipe at the same time and then hopefully everything should line up because if the heat shield fits the carbs are going to fit and then we can bend the fuel supply pipe to, to suit as well. Heat shield on, as I say, that's the only thing that won't line up because the carbs are relatively independent of each other. I'm now going to pull the heat shield back off, tighten all of the nuts up nice and tight, and then tighten up the balance tube. And as long as that O-ring squashes up quite nicely, we should be in a good, good place. all that tightened up but before I go any further I need to plug up with bolts these three BSF threaded holes because that's where the original 104 heat shield would have gone and as if by magic they're fitted those of you that watch regularly might say at home James they were sheared off the other week you're never going to use them why don't you just leave them in why do you spend all night drilling tapping and re-threading them Yes, valid point, but if somebody at some point wants to go away from the M spec and they want to go back to original, they're going to go for a hell of a lot of issues to try and get those three right again. Whereas now they can just wind three bolts out, job done. So it's the right thing to do and also it looks a lot tidier as well because sheared off bolts look crap, don't they? So there we go, another week draws to a close and we've got the carburetors fitted. We've still got to run the fuel supply and we've still got to run linkages, but for the purpose of today's videos, fitting the carbs, complete. And don't they look amazing. Super, super happy. And we're going in the right direction as always and we're closer to turning the key. As always guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from us, don't forget to subscribe and have a great week. We will see you soon. Take care.